uh, thanks a lot. Um, yeah, obviously just a huge honour. Um, wasn't expecting anything like that at all. Um, obviously just getting my opportunity last week, just wanted to play my role in the team and um, try and get the win. And obviously we fell short, but um, yeah, to, to get nominated for this award, was just a, it's just a great, great honour. Yeah, yeah, definitely has been. It has been pretty hard. Um, first year, obviously, I didn't get get to play any games. Um, I probably just wasn't really up to it, up to it at all. And then last year, obviously, um, debuted um, early in the year, and then didn't didn't get a chance from um, then on in. But that was um, probably no no mistake of my uh, no mistake towards the coaches. Just my own form. I probably just couldn't play four quarters of footy. And um, this year's just been my main focus, just trying to play that four quarters and get a bit stronger and a bit fitter and be able to run out games. Yeah, I think it's it's given me a lot more confidence. Um, in saying that, though, it is probably the first time I've actually played def- um, in the in the back line in my career. So, um, yeah, it's just been a bit of a mix-up and sort of just giving me a bit more of excitement now and I'm still just learning uh, every session um, about it and, um, yeah, I'm just really enjoying it at the moment. Oh, just, Mick just said it was a pretty good effort, just tried hard and um, obviously we were pretty disappointed with the loss, but we, um, we thought that... We we um when we did play good footy we we should have probably um, finished off a bit better with our goal kicking and stuff like that. But um obviously if we can play that sort of game for four quarters, we'll it'll help cement those wins. Yeah yeah definitely. Um no the boys have been really upbeat. Um it's been we had a good session out there on the track today and um, the boys just said let's just put it put you know obviously we've got things to work on from the weekend but we sort of want to move on from that and we know we have a big game against Essen this week. Um, and we're just really looking forward to um, taking them on on Sunday. Oh, I think he's just, it's like any parent, I think he's just probably pretty proud. Um, he just told me he's got to try and get a kick next week, so can't just have one one game and then not do much the week after. Oh, he's he's, he's surprisingly he's not he's not um, very much like that. He's pretty quiet and takes a back step in that sort of um, situation. But he knows that at the club we've got great development, um, great development coaches, and also senior coaches in uh, Mick Mouldhouse and Rob Wiley and um, he definitely just takes a back seat and knows that they're um, teaching us pretty well here. Oh, I, oh, We do do a bit of um, set shot practice at training but um, I think we obviously didn't take our opportunities on the weekend so there probably will be a bit of an em- emphasis on just that sort of stuff. Yeah, I had to put, uh, put in a bit of work. I came to the club pretty light so I put on about eight, eight to nine kilos since I first got to the club. Um, and obviously I had, a, I had a few shoulder injuries as well, which doesn't help when you're trying to put on size. So um, those setbacks didn't help me in that regard. But um, I, I found um, over the off season, that's just mainly what I focused on was just getting my shoulders right. And I knew from then if I can get those right, then I can start to play, play some consistent footy and push for senior selection. Yeah, it's a good question. I suppose I suppose it might have to. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'd, I'd probably just leave that up to the coaches. But... Oh, I'm happy to play anywhere, so as long as I'm out there, I'm just happy.